Hello, and I know it's been a long time since I've recorded anything. I made some changes to my sawmill. I decided that my prior design with one and a quarter inch thick steel shafts, the shafts wasn't thick enough. It needed to be two inch for that kind of design. So rather than buying new pulleys and shafts and bearings, I decided to go with more of a conventional setup. I've changed it a lot. I went to where the bearings are on each side of the wheel with the slide in the middle. You can see that. Uh, done some preliminary test runs and so far it's coming along. And then for my blade tensioner I've got the same old car jack right here that I had on my old one except for a man at a different position for the universal joint here the bar running up out here to a handle so I can stand back here and tighten it up if you can see that while it's running the pulley going to the motor I got a old fashioned clutch here where you put the tension on the blade and then it engages the blades and then it holds it in place simple as that she started up like that once it's started and you're ready to cut, you just pull this down, put it right there, and it engages the saw little blade, the band saw blade. It's got your 13 horsepower Honda in it. This tank here is the water reservoir for lubricating the blade and keeping it cool. And on and off valve. Comes out right down here by the bearings. The blade goes right through here all the way to this side. And then I've got an adjustable bearing there so I can move it to the size log I have and then got my other bearings right over here they're all adjustable you can see uh, this wheel over here is stationary basically it's an 18 and 3 quarter inch pulley with wheel band wheels on it or whatever you call them these rubber little inserts go inside the grooves um, this bar here is just to help push it up on this side. This is to raise and lower the whole thing so it goes down like this. And then the other way goes up. Go either way. So that's the way that works. Got my pulley cable coming down to here, back up here. It goes over this side and back down. That way it equalizes it out when you raise and lower it. Got my V groove cast iron pulleys on the wheels. You can see it, it moves freely. Like that, it'll run on a track once I get the track built. So, so anyways, that's what I've got going on right now. I'll be posting some more. I got to uh, run it a few more times, make sure the blade stays on good and everything works good. Then I'll put the uh, the fan guards on, or excuse me, the the, the uh, blade guards on to keep it if the blade does jump off from flying in there and cutting somebody's head off. So, anyways, that's what I've got so far. Have a good day.